God of War Ragnarok has just released, and in today's video, we're going to be going over one of the best armor sets that you can get at the beginning of the game. Now, this armor set can be used throughout the entire game because you are able to level it up as you progress. Now, this one is particularly amazing, and the best part of it is that you can get it within the first two hours of playing. Now, I know I'm going to mispronounce this, but it is the Nita Veller's finest armor set. Now, the best part of this is you can really mix and match these how you desire, but the chest plate is particularly good. This has a bonus of stunning restoration, so you can stun grab an enemy with R3, and it grants a healing boost. Now, this is awesome because as you're destroying enemies, you're going to be able to top off your health relatively consistently. And it could also come in very clutch when you're fighting bosses as well. Now, I've been having a lot of fun with this by experimenting with using my shield to apply high stun damage to the monsters, which means I have to deal less damage to them overall because I only have to hit them a few times. Then I can use R3 to basically eliminate them completely while getting a little bit of my health back. This has actually been a great way to dispatch monsters really quickly. Because of the high stun damage from the shield, you're able to stun large groups of monsters really quick, which means you're going to be taking less damage and you're going to be fighting them less amount of time because the R3 stun grabbing attack should eliminate them in one shot, allowing you to rejuvenate your health and just plow through all of your enemies. Now, with bigger monsters, you're not going to be able to one-shot them with your stun grab, but you are going to be doing a high amount of damage while also rejuvenating your health while you're fighting this larger target or boss. This is also where the rest of the armor set will come in very handy. Now, the chest plate at level 3 has strength of 16, defense of 20, and vitality of 16. But if we go to the wrist armor, we're going to see what the rest of this set bonus does for us. The bonus on this armor is pretty amazing. It has stunning persistence, which reduces how quickly enemy stun bar drain. This is particularly good against large monsters and bosses because you can slowly add up stun over time, allowing it to not drain, and then you'll be able to do large amounts of damage to these large monsters or bosses without having to worry about the stun bar draining on you, which means you're also going to be rejuvenating health throughout the fight. Now to be able to get this armor, you're going to need to get to the point in the story where you go to Svartalfheim. Now once you get to this area, you're eventually going to come across a town. And in this town, you're going to find a tavern with a fine gentleman playing the hurdy-gurdy inside. Now, you're going to need to talk to this gentleman once to continue the main story quest. But if you talk to him again, you're going to unlock a side quest. And this side quest is going to be how we acquire our armor. Now, if you look in your quests, you'll see that there isn't actually a reward for this. Uh, but you're going to get the armor while progressing through this quest. Now, upon leaving the tavern, you're going to get on your boat again, and you're going to be greeted with a crossroads. You can go left to continue the main story, or you can go right to continue through all the side quests and exploration. You're going to want to head to the first smokestack, which is just on your right. And this is, thankfully, the easiest one of them all. All you're going to need to do is kill a few monsters around the smokestack, and you'll be able to then destroy the smokestack and make sure to collect all of the items that dropped, because you're going to need the ore from this to be able to craft this armor set. While on this island, you're going to want to blow up this little barricade, climb up the wall, and then head over to the Watchtower Gate. This is going to unlock a side quest for Mimir, where we have to acquire a key to unlock this gate, so that way we can help him solve a problem that he created earlier in his life. After doing this, you're going to want to run around the corner and head up to this little top area, because there is this hateful spawn, and you're going to find these throughout the world, and if you defeat it and clear it out, you're going to unlock some good items. Head back to your boat, and then on the way to the second and third vent, you're going to see a jet of water coming out of the lake. If you go to the island just to the right of this, this is the island where you need to acquire the key for Mimir. If you solve the puzzle, defeat the big chonky boy down in the bottom, and loot the chest, you're going to acquire the key, which we can then use later to continue on with this side quest. The side quest for Mimir is definitely one you're going to want to complete, and if you do, at the end of it, you're going to get the Rond of Aggravation, which is a shield attachment that has high luck chance to grant a Rage Burst when parrying. Now, each time you clear one of these mining vents, you're going to get enough resources to craft one piece of armor. If you only want the chest piece, then you only really need to complete one of these vents, but if you do want the full armor set, you will have to clear out the second and third vent. Now, thankfully, each of these are essentially just puzzles with some monsters at the end, and if you defeat all the monsters, you're able to tear open the vent, collect the resources, and you'll be able to craft your armor. 
Now I really do hope you enjoyed this video and the armor set that you could easily miss if you decide to continue on with the main story because it's going to be a little bit before you can actually get back to acquire this armor. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. Feel free to let me know any little secrets that you find in God of War Ragnarok in the comments below on Twitter or Discord. And I hope you all have a great day.